What the church has done in the past is the church has declared the truth without love, and that comes across harsh. So the world has responded by declaring love without truth, which is a lie. We have this unique challenge of being led by the Spirit, which means we need to merge both truth and love. Do you ever have any problem with your neck or your shoulder or your back? All the time. Can I pray for you real quick? Yes. Someone have a jaw that like pops or has a problem with their jaw? Sometimes. Yeah. It does. It's you? Yeah. The Bible says, earnestly desire spiritual gifts. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. So people are like, well, you know, I don't, I don't really want to move in the gifts of the Spirit. Well, I'm sorry. It's not a suggestion. It's actually a command. It doesn't matter what aspect of ministry you're doing. A huge part of it is demonstrating the nature of God. Everything we're doing in the kingdom is relational. So whether it's healing, whether it's teaching, pastoring, the prophetic, you know, it's all about the nature of God. It's all about who God is. God hides things for us and he reveals in scripture that to his own, he has given the secrets to the mysteries, all the mysteries they have access to. So here he invites us into this joyful journey of discovery as God is happy to reveal things to us.